Hey there everyone, this is Faz Ghost Rider from Team Excalibur. I'll be showing you a mod that I'm about to do to my 360. Uh, this mod is supposed to help prevent the three red lights from appearing. Uh, this is my 360 that had the problem and it was having a problem with the three red lights. I finally, with the help of YouTube, a lot of other people from the community, I finally managed to find a solution for the three red lights and uh, now it seems to be working fine. There is no problem. So in this video I'll, I won't be covering any of the techniques that I use to fix the problem or that I'll be making another video very soon. But this one is to um, to show you what exactly I am planning to do or what, I, what I'm going to do to make sure that the problem does not reoccur. So this is the 360 that I'm having. About one month ago I started having um, the 360 started hanging in gears of war and while I'm just on the dashboard things started freezing. So uh, and finally the day it came and it gave me the three dreaded red lights. So. I was trying to find a solution and this is exactly what I found working. That's the best solution. Just get rid of the 360. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, so this is the 360. As you can see it's hollow. There's just a case. There's nothing inside. I'll, I'll tell you exactly what I did with my 360 but before I do that I want to show you something. Now, I don't know if you can read the fine print over there, but this is one of the very, very, very old ones. As you can see the date of manufacturing over there, it's back 2005. So it's about a three years old machine. And I, it was working fine with me. I, I had it modded and it was working fine. But suddenly it started giving me those red lights. So I searched online and tried to find a solution. And uh, I applied the, the mod they called the X clamp, which is you you uh, open rip open the, the the motherboard, and on the back of it there are two cross brackets, and on those back brackets I, I loosen them, them up, I remove the screws from the back, and also I put those four rubber things, four small rubber pieces, on the ram ram chips. That's what exactly helps you prevent the three red lights from coming again. Let me show you. I'll be showing you a clip from the exact mod uh, that I did that will help you understand exactly how the, the, the rubbers are to be placed. So even after doing the, the X-clamp mod, as you can see uh, that I did, even after that the problem still kept happening. What I did basically wrong was I, I opened the motherboard and I put those four chips there and after that when I closed it, I did not let it heat up as the, the, um, the video actually suggested. So what I'm going to show you now my 360 the way it looks right now. This is this is the way it is at the moment. I've got it completely open. It's out of the casing. There's nothing there, and it's working. So how did I get to get it to work? Well, the problem, you know, it happens right in this area, as you can see here. This this is the area that's having the problem. It is underneath this heatsink. That's where the problem happens. This is the the CPU right over there underneath the the DVD drive and underneath the heat sink is the GPU right over there so all the heat that, that is getting generated from there it is not getting through this heat sink enough it's not able to get rid of the heat through the fans out there so I'm going to what I'm planning to do now I'm planning to use normal CPU fan 
as you can see right here. In addition to another bigger version of the fan. And I'll be powering these two. One of them will be powered by USB, which I'll be connecting here in the uh, in the USB port of the 360. While the other one, it will be connected by a 12 volt AC adapter. What I'm planning to do, I'm planning to to put this one right over there, right here, and the smaller one will be on top of the heat sink right over there. This will be blowing the, the cold wind inside and the other one, the small fan on top of the heat sink, it's also going to push the the, uh, the air which is coming from outside onto the heat sink and the, the fans on the back right here, they're the ones who are going to disperse the heat outside. So uh, these, the, the operation of these fans is going to be controlled by independent power supply and that is because the, the fans on the back right here they're operating according to the operation of the GPU so if the GPU is really doing something which is graphically intensive it will be working on full speed otherwise there are three different levels of, of the speed of the fans if you're sitting in the dashboard and you're not doing anything the fan is just running on the on the first level which is on the, on the lowest speed as soon as you increase the, the operation of the GPU, it will start working on a higher speed. But it, by providing independent power to these fans, I'll make sure that they're not going to operate according to the speed of the, of, of the processing of the GPU, and they'll be working full time with full power all the time. So uh, I would like to say thanks to, uh, to Master Chief, we are the member of the Team Excalibur along with the uh, Spirits Beauty for giving me supplying me with the fan. So hats off to you guys and um, let's let's do this. Let's see how this works. Now the problem that this causes is that once I put those two there, this one is a very large fan. And the problem that happens with this one is that I can play uh, play the 360 it's working normally, the operation is okay, but I cannot close the lid because this area right over there that's where the fans are going to be and I'm not able to close it so I'm going to mod the case this case I'll be modding the top top side of it in order to make sure that the fans are going to fit properly it may look ugly but hey it's better to have a working 360 rather to have you know a beautiful piece of hardware or whatever so um, I'm going to start now with the mod and I'll be uh, showing you exactly how the progress comes along. It starts with one. I don't know why, it doesn't even matter how hard you try Keep that in mind, I designed this product to explain in due time All I know, time is a valuable thing Watch it fly by as the pendulum swings Watch it count down to the end of the day The clock ticks life away, it's so unreal 